Welcome back to AP Chemistry. I'm Jeremy Krug, and in this video, we're going to be looking at how to tell if a molecule is polar or nonpolar. Uh, this is a, a fairly simple exercise, but it can be complex as well, so you have to pay close attention to the details. By the way, if you enjoy this video and enjoy my uh, experience here teaching AP Chemistry, then join me on our journey and click the subscribe button and hope you give my video a like. Well, when we look at the polarity of a molecule, you know, some molecules that we have drawn in this lesson, and in the last lesson too, have a lopsided or an unbalanced region of negative charge. And these are called polar molecules. Now let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. Here's water. And this is the way that water is drawn. And as you can see here, we have it drawn in such a way that there is a partial negative charge up here. We have these electrons in the toward the top of the molecule giving it kind of a, a lopsided uh, structure. You know, this side is going to be negative, so we can actually draw this to say, you know, it's partially uh, negative. And then over here, that would have to be the partially positive side of this. So we could say, you know, delta positive. Uh, that's the notation that's sometimes used. The, mo the electrons tend to drift in in that direction. So we're going to say that this is a polar molecule. It's not because it's not symmetrical. It doesn't have to do with, symmet with a symmetry. There is a symmetry here, but it's the fact that it's a lopsided molecule. Okay, the electrons are weighted, if you want to view it that way, over here. So it's a polar structure. Now let's look at this other one here, CH4. There are no unshared pairs, and even the shared pairs, everything is, is spaced out very evenly. Nothing is lopsided here. So there is no unbalanced region of negative charge in that molecule at all. So we can safely say that CH4 methane is a nonpolar molecule. So there are polar molecules and nonpolar molecules. And by the way, just so you know, if a molecule is polar, sometimes we say it is having a, or it has a dipole moment. A dipole moment, or sometimes that it has a dipole. That's sometimes how it's described as well. So it's a polar molecule. Let's take a look at this example here. HCN, hydrogen cyanide. Now on this one, hopefully you can see that there is an unpaired or an unshared electron pair over here. And it's not balanced by anything on the other side of the molecule. This is kind of a lopsided molecule. It's like the electrons are kind of drifting over here in this direction. So this side of the molecule is, is partially negative, And this part of the molecule would have to be partially positive. So this is a polar molecule because it's lopsided. The electrons are drifting over toward the other side there. Now let's try a few more examples. Are each of these molecules polar? That means are they have, do they have a dipole? Or are they nonpolar, which means they don't? So here we have nitrogen trifluoride. Well, in this molecule, we can see that there are three, uh, three sigma bonds, three single bonds, but there's also this unshared pair hanging off of the central atom. And that's not balanced with anything else, is it? So this is going to be a polar molecule. Anytime you have exactly one unshared electron pair on the central atom, it's a polar molecule. Unless there's something I can't think of, but every case I've ever seen that has one unshared pair on the central atom will, have, will be a polar molecule. It will have a dipole. Let's try this one. Oh, I think I just gave it away, didn't I? Because this, this one has exactly one unshared pair on the central atom, doesn't it? And it's not balanced out by anything. So yeah, this is lopsided. So it's a polar molecule as well, isn't it? Okay, so, so I, I kind of gave you a little way to figure it out. That doesn't answer all of them, but it answers some of them. Is this one polar or nonpolar? Well, there are no unshared pairs on the central atom. So that's a good sign. And everything else looks perfectly even. It's all evened out. Nothing is lopsided here. Uh, there are the same number of unshared pairs on both sides here. So yeah, this is perfectly balanced. I think it's safe to say this is a nonpolar molecule, silicon dioxide. 
If we try another one, phosphorus pentachloride. I think we drew this in an earlier video. So it got an expanded octet. There are a lot of electrons here. It looks like a busy picture, but is anything lopsided? No, everything seems to be perfectly balanced out. There are no unshared electron pairs on the central atom, so I think it's safe to say this is a nonpolar molecule. One more example. NH3, ammonia. Is this a lopsided molecule? Definitely it is, because look at that. We have an unshared pair on the central atom. It's not balanced out by anything else on here, on the molecule. So we can say that ammonia, NH3, is a polar molecule. Well, I hope you've learned something about how to determine if a molecule has a dipole moment or not. It's polar or nonpolar. If you learned something, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so that you will be uh, informed of all my future videos in AP Chemistry. I want you to get a five on this exam. I'm Jeremy Krug, and I've been teaching AP Chemistry for over two decades. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Join me again on my channel where, where we can learn some more chemistry. Take some more chemistry.